Okay, from the power of the dog, we have editor Peter Scriberas. <laughs> Rocking a Jane Campion shirt, by the way. <laughs> You've got to show them your shirt. Oh, Peter, that piano banjo scene, um, it's the definition of tension, and I really wanted to, well, I'm not going to say what I wanted to do ben to Benedict, but um, <laughs> talk about the conversations that you had with Jane about cutting that sequence. Uh, yeah, I mean, there was a lot of um, conversations about that one. I mean, a lot of it was Ari Wegner and um, Grant had done such amazing work in building the house um, around where the camera could be. So there was so much um, preparation. And then the actual um, the sets were two different places. So Phil was somewhere else and Rose was somewhere else. So they were never actually in the same place. Um, so a lot of it was just about finding Rose's um, point of view and really leaning on, on her psychological space. And um, we talked a lot about that. And how do we play it as simply but powerfully as possible was always a thing we were trying to do. And just how can we be economical but really ratchet up the tension? Um, it's kind of the, what we tried to do. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't that scene initially like an hour? Well, not the scene. That sequence was an hour long, right? Or was um, it close to that? In, in terms of footage, yeah, there was definitely... I mean, we had Benedict upstairs playing the banjo for, um, you know, in the, at the window, at the door, um, stomping his feet, like, so many variations. <laughs> could have been very different. It could have been very different. But um, we just went with... It, there was these few shots that um, were kind of low angle that just had this, this kind of psychological horror feeling that just made um, Phil's character so dangerous and um, and kind of not showing him and just holding him back and just using the sound of the door and, and the boots going down, which Rob McKenzie did an amazing job on. Um, just felt like the right way to play it. And uh, yeah, it, it's a fun one. To, it's a real editor's scene, so it's... Um, <laughs> How long did you work on that scene for with Jane? Um, I worked on it quite a lot um, on my own, and then Jane came in and we pretty much rebuilt the whole thing again um, and ended up in a fairly similar place, which um, is always a good sign that you've kind of exhausted the material and you're on the same page, which is always a nice feeling with a director like Jane, because, you know, she's very, um, she's got a very strong point of view and um, it's good when you li line up with it. <laughs> In the script, there was, so the movie's divided into five chapters. That wasn't in the script. Talk about how the chapter idea came in. Yeah, I mean, the, the script comes from, you know, it's an adaptation from a, a novel. And so you could kind of feel that there could be chapters in the script. There's changes in points of view and changes, you know, big jumps in time. Um, and you could, you know, each each chapter is a, is a new character coming into the ranch, um, you know, uh, Rose coming, and then Peter arrives, and then finally they're all together. Like the you know the relationship of the film that really takes over is the last chapter. Um, and with without the chapter marks, it was you could just feel it was going to be a little bit hard for the audience to keep up with these really big changes. And it, it felt right to embrace the you know the origin of the story from these you know from the structure of the book. So. Um, yeah, that was a really big turning point in the edit too. It just really helped. It also created these beautiful little peaks of tension on the end of each chapter. It was kind of like, almost like a cliffhanger, like, and then you dropped into a new place. So it kind of created this energy that um, wasn't there before. It was kind of a much softer way through. And yeah, I, th I think it helped, um, really helped raise the stakes with every chapter and really hopefully build the momentum of this, um, you know, kind of pretty intense story. Yeah. Another intense moment is that cigarette scene moment with Peter and Phil. Like, talk about cutting that sequence. I mean, that was, that's another, like, editor's scene. <laughs> that's, um, that was really great to cut. I mean, the first time I cut that scene was, um, the shoot was broken up into two parts because of COVID. So 
got shut down. So the first time that scene was shot, we had no close-ups to play with, so all the braiding, all that. So the first time I cut it was a really different approach to the second time. Like, I think Jane just um, very cleverly noticed that Phil's language, like the language of close-ups with Phil's character, like the, the saddle and, um, you know, these really textural moments where you could see the, the, the love he had and um, the amount of feeling he had because, you know, you're introduced to him as this, you know, absolute asshole, <laughs> <laughs> basically. Um, uh, so that was, that was really interesting because when you brought those close-ups and that language into a scene with two people, it really transformed, you know, it was somewhere to channel this feeling and for the tension to go. And I don't know, Jane's got such an ability to, you know, find a shot like that and give it so much more meaning. And, you know, she's, she's kind of the master of, of tension and atmosphere, I think, in those kind of moments. And so cutting was, you know, just about these amazing performances as well. I mean, both Cody and Benedict are, absolutely incredible in that scene, I think. And finding a structure where, again, we try not to cut and we end on Pete, Peter, like really taking control of the situation and we don't cut back to, to Phil. It's then just about Peter watching Phil and it's, um, yeah, so there's, you, you kind of come to these things, you kind of always have an idea and then slowly it's a discovery and um, you just slowly unearth um, where, where you can get that feeling from, because Jane definitely always knows what feeling she's after. It's really a matter of finding how to, how to deliver that feeling. It's such an incredible sequence. Okay, stay put. We are going to have one more clip from Dune. <laughs> 